Hello guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to be back working on my BMW E90 320D today with the N47 engine and we are going to be removing and cleaning the EGR valve. Now why am I removing and cleaning the EGR valve? Do I have any fault codes? No I don't but there's a good chance that the EGR valve is going to be pretty clogged up. By design how it works it just diverts the exhaust gases from the exhaust back through the intake so it does get pretty clogged up with soot now i have no record of it ever being replaced or cleaned and i really think that if you do want to keep the egr valve in place which i don't really recommend but if you do want to keep it in place functioning as it should it's a good idea to clean it periodically every twenty thousand miles or so but yeah without further ado let's get outside and let's get cracking Okay then, so here we can see the BMW N47 engine and the EGR valve is located underneath the engine cover just here is it is directly bolted onto the EGR cooler. Now to gain access to the EGR valve itself I am just going to remove this engine cover and I'm also going to remove this air intake here as well. So start in by one, two, three torque screws and then these push rivets here, these plastic push rivets. So let's get all these removed. That's those three Torx 20 screws removed. Okay, so I actually don't need to remove these push rivets here, just those three screws and this front section should come off now. There we are. As you can see, we have so much more room in here now, and we'll just remove the main engine cover. There we are. And now what I'm gonna do is remove this air intake part that goes from the air box down to the turbo. Now it is held on to the turbo just by a clip. We just need to pry that off, and it should come off quite easy. And then obviously we have this uh, crankcase breather hose, which should just pop off the rocker cover here. There we are. But yeah, once this is out of the way, we should have full access to the EGR then. And pull this pipe off the turbo now. Is this removed then? So we can see the EGR valve in full view now then. What I'm gonna do is just disconnect the electrical connector, nice and simple, and then pull off the vacuum pipe as well. Nice and simple. And now all that's holding it in is just two bolts, one there and one there, and I can see they are very rusty. So this should be fun. So I believe both of the bolts are a five millimeter Allen bolt, but before I go and try and crack them loose, I'm just gonna spray some penetrating fluid just to give us any chance. Really don't wanna round these off. Yeah, wait, Is that, no, I thought it snapped the bolt then. No, one's definitely cracked loose. This one doesn't seem as kind to us. That doesn't seem, that seems like it's rounded off. Yeah, that does kind of seem a bit rounded to me. I would say this has been removed before. Gotcha. So as you can see, also removed the air box as well. And then what I've done is hammered a T40 socket into it. And then I used the impact wrench and it came straight out then. But yeah, as you can see, this thing is rounded off pretty well. I don't know what the previous person who was ever working in here was doing, but yeah, this is supposed to be a five millimeter Allen, but yeah, I have no idea what they tried to use. As you can see, this one is not rounded how it should be. But now the EGR should remove now. May need to give it a few love taps. There we are. And there we go. 
that's the EGR valve itself fully removed now let's work on getting this EGR valve clean now ideally you do want to remove this gasket here yes there is a gasket on here ideally you do want to remove this and replace it but I don't have a replacement and to be honest it doesn't look too damaged it's if of course we do have an exhaust leak from here then I will go in at a later date and just replace this but yeah just a word of warning it is always best to replace this gasket here but for the purpose of this I just want to give this thing a good clean so first thing that I'm going to do is just give it a good coating with some oven cleaner this stuff is fantastic for breaking down carbon which is what we have covered on the valve itself so yeah there's really not a whole lot to this it's literally just going to be a case of giving it a good clean up we want to try and get this moving freely by the end of this just going to give it a good coating and this should start to foam up now when you are using the oven cleaner of course do try and keep it away from the electrical connector you can even tape this up if you want but yeah i'm just going to hold it like this and like i said start spraying the oven cleaner so then once the oven cleaner has been working itself in for a good few minutes you can start to agitate it with a small brush and you should start to see this thing looking quite a bit cleaner and once you've done that you can give it a good wipe down yeah and we can already see just how much cleaner that is and we're not even finished yet so then here is how we are currently locking like I said we're not done yet but to finish off we can use some brake cleaner yes this is brake cleaner not WD-40 so I'm just gonna give this thing a good coating in brake cleaner this should just help remove the final stubborn piece of carbon and hopefully make it look a bit prettier as well. Okay, so I am happy with how clean this thing is now. I mean, we could spend all day cleaning this thing up, but yeah, this is a lot better than what it was and should serve its purpose. It should move quite a bit more freely now. And when it comes to the EGR cooler side, there's really only so much we can do. I mean, this really doesn't get clogged up. I mean, I did give it a good wipe with some brake cleaner on a rag just around there just to kind of clean a little bit of soot off but yeah there's no point going crazy if you want to clean that out you've really got to remove the EGR cooler itself and uh, give it multiple flushes but yeah that is another job for another day but yeah EGR valve itself is now nice and clean so let's get this thing reinstalled and I have just tested it just to make sure that the valve itself is moving nice and freely which it is a lot better than what it was before so yeah let's get this installed now and I do have a new bolt I'm not going to be reinstalling that old bolt that was rounded off so here is the good bolt that we removed and I managed to find a nice shiny new one for the bolt that was rounded off okay then so with the bolts now back in place we can begin reinstalling everything back as it was so remember the vacuum line slides on like so this electrical connector just pushes on and now I guess it is the air box the intake pipe and then the engine covers Okay, then, so that is the air box back in, that's the intake pipe back in. I can plug the mass airflow sensor back in place. Now the main engine cover can go back on. 
and now this front air intake section can go back in as well. Now what's left to do is fire it up, make sure we don't have any error codes. Seem to be good. Okay then guys, so there we go, the EGR valve on my N47 powered BMW 320D is now clean, job done, and yeah, it really is a, a very simple job to do on this engine. I mean, aside from the fact that we had to remove that rounded bolt, which if you are removing your EGR on your N47 engine, the bolts are a five millimeter Allen bolt. Don't use a Torx. Bit. don't use anything else apart from a five millimeter allen key or an, an allen um socket yeah you know to save yourself the headache and uh make things nice and easy for you but yeah hopefully this video has been easy to follow along hopefully it has been helpful and hopefully you guys have enjoyed it please give it a like leave a comment down below subscribe if you have not already done so I will see you all in that next one. Peace.